Hey guys, so it's Editing Olivia, and I just want to let you know that this video was filmed the day after you saw the very last video I made. I got locked out of my YouTube account, I finally got back in, and I want to get back to at least making some content because I'm super busy. Um, I post every single day on my other YouTube channel for Vlogmas, so if you want to check it out and keep up with me at Olivia Nicole, you definitely can, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun getting Waffle, and he's so cute. I love him so much. Update, he's still doing very well. We actually just got a tank to put him in, so that will probably be one of the next couple of videos you'll see along with a meat waffle. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Also, I'm filming this on photo booth right now, so sorry for the bad quality. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today is part two to my Getting a Hamster series and today is going to be a Getting My Hamster vlog and setting up the cage and all of that. I'm so, so excited. I've been waiting for this day to come for so long, so I cannot wait to go to the pet store and get the hamster, but first I'm going to clean and disinfect the bins and we already disinfected the supplies and then I'm going to do a little haul and then we're going to set up the cage. There's a lot to do. I'm so excited and then hopefully later today we will head to the pet store to get our hamsters. My sister is getting one as well. If you haven't seen part one, you should definitely check that out. It will be linked in the eye. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and turn on the notification bell. And without further ado, let's get started. So this is 50% water and 50% white vinegar. And we're going to use this as our cleaning solution to disinfect the inside of the cage. Okay guys, so before I start setting up the cage, I want to do a little bit of a haul slash what I'm going to be using in the cage because some of the things I actually like homemade with hamster DIYs because I was born in quarantine. But the first thing in the haul is this 50 liter package of white Carefresh bedding. Um, I believe I got this from Petco. Yeah, from Petco. So I'm going to be obviously using this as bedding in the cage. The next thing is this Oxbow Orchard Grass Hay. So I'm planning on using this like in between the layers of the bedding to kind of make the burrows more secure and this is a really soft taste so that it won't hurt the hamsters. Next I have this bag and this is of sand. My sister and I bought a 10 pound bag of Rufty sand so this is just from Zoo Med. This is desert white and it's all natural and safe for hamsters and so we split it so I've got five pounds of sand here and this is going to be used in the sand bath for the hamster. Next for main or for 50% of the diet I have Higgins Sunburst. This is the hamster and gerbil blend. So this is a really nice seed mix. It's got all kinds of things in it like millet, oats, timothy hay, corn, sunflower seeds, everything like that. And yeah, this is going to be really great. And I'm also going to use this kind of as treats to tame my hamster if they're not tamed already, which they probably won't be. Then for the other 50% of the diet, I have the Missouri rat and mouse diet. And so you kind of do like half and half of these and it gives some more protein to the hamster's diet. And then to add just a bit more protein, I have a pack of KT Wild Bird Food Mealworms, but these are just dead, dead mealworms. And I might add a couple of these now and again to up the protein in the hamster's diet. I'm not sure if I'm really gonna use a food bowl the whole entire time I have a hamster just because I think scatter feeding could be nice, but at first I probably will just to make it a little less stressful for them. But this is the Oliving Things Ceramic Honeycomb Dish. I think this is so cute. So this has like a honeycomb pattern on it and a little bit of like indents in it. It's really nice. I believe this is the four ounce size, so this is the smaller size they have. And then for water, I ordered this really cute little whale dish. This is very light, so I'm not sure if it'll tip over. Okay, so a couple of these things I made myself, but I made this little like burrow kind of house thing. I did use hot glue, but I think it will be okay because I made sure to get all of the excess off, but basically it looks like this, and then there's this little hole for them to enter, and then these ones are slightly shorter than these, so the hamster can go under. But I think this will be a really cute addition to the cage. And then I also have this You and Me Bend to Bridge. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I think it will be really nice for a hideout and then even like a little bridge for them to crawl on. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I have a tissue box that I think could potentially work as a hideout. I'm not really sure about this. This is just an option. And then I also have an extra toilet paper roll for any little toys I want to make. I made this little toilet paper um, hideout. I think this can go in the sand bath so that they have a nice hideout. And then I also covered a toilet paper roll and popsicle sticks using a flour water mixture. And then this is the You and Me wooden hideaway. This is a small size. I think I could put a little treat up there. But yeah, it's gonna be really cute. And then I have this acrylic organizer. This is actually a stackable container. It came in a pack of three. I gave my sister one, and then my mom's gonna use one, I guess, but for her bathroom or something. But these are just a little acrylic organizer. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. And then I made this little bridge thing with another flour and water mixture. I think this is super cute. 
I did make a popsicle stick platform, but then I broke it, so now we're left with this. I don't really know. I made this little um, little treat thingy, and then also this to put treats in, and this little hideout I made, tunnel thing. And then I got this chicken and waffle chew from All Living Things. I thought these were adorable, and I just had to get them. We are going to be purchasing more chews once the hamster comes, but yeah, I think it's going to be super, super cute. So that is all of the stuff that I have for my hamster, and now we can start setting up the cage. What are you doing, miss? Okay, so we've got the cage over here. I still need to take the sticker off. Um, I moved my dresser over to the left and put that there. I put the cage here so I could see it from my bed, which is to the right, but I think it'll be really cute. There's, I'm gonna start setting it up now. I am so excited. looking like I think it looks really good it's a supernatural cage theme so this is gonna be the water bowl the food bowl is back there I'm gonna scatter feed I'm planning to but we've got this little hideout here so this is kind of like the deep end and then I have this little burrow box I made and I put the bendable bridge here and then the sand bath with the hideout and this tube on the side so they can go in this little tube. I think it's really cute. I'm really happy with it. Cannot wait. We are on the way to Pet Smart. Actually, we're gonna stop at Petco to switch out some wheels because we ordered them online, but we want a different color. So we're gonna go to Petco and then we're gonna head to Pet Smart because we called and they have two winter whites and six Chinese dwarf hamsters. So we're gonna head there and see if we find a hamster. We've got our masks. Don't worry, we're gonna be safe. Okay guys, we just got home. I got a winter white. He is in the box right now and he's making little noises, but I forgot to mention, we did get a wheel. I didn't mention that in my haul. We ordered them online and they were red, so I switched out for this blue one to hopefully go with this little thing I have over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel in and then the lighting is really bad, but I'm gonna fill up the food and water. We didn't tell you guys, but at the store, he and his cage mate were fighting for water at the water bottle. He's so happy I'm so happy. This over here is a bro.
You guys, he's adorable. I think he went down in that burrow and I think he went to sleep. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love him so much. The clip you're about to see was filmed the next day when I woke up and he was running on his wheel. So here you'll see a clip of that and also that's why his cage is all messed up. And you'll see we put black duct tape around the top of it just to make sure that if my cats did by chance decide to jump on top of it, it wouldn't fall through. So that was just for more support. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have some more videos coming out soon of Meat Waffle and setting up his tank, assuming I don't get locked out again. But if you want to keep up with me, like I said, you can check out my vlogmas that I'm doing right now on my other channel at Olivia Nicole. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!